I like that. Very like, very much, very much. <laughs> Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all safe and well. Right, so before we crack on with the video for today, I was really surprised when I published the video last, well, you probably see this video Monday. I published the video last night, which was Friday. And I noticed that the video uh, with the, um, the GKS butterflies, it stopped at about 10, min 10 minutes and something, which is really, really bizarre. So I don't really know what happened. I will show you in just a second that the original video, so the one I filmed and edited, was about 14 something minutes long. And I'll show you in just a sec. So when I uploaded, um, for my end, everything was fine because when you do your uploading, you, then you need to do like your checks. They check that there is not copyright things. So then you need to I monetize my video. So you need to pass your monet monetiz monetization um, checklist. It's all that jazz. So anyway, just to cut the story short, I had no idea what happened. Now, I was talking about my application for my citizenship and I mentioned something which I'm not sure if YouTube wasn't if youtube didn't like what i was talking about because i was talking about something i don't want to say again because i doubt it really much that because if you talk about something that you know is pol extremely political and it depends on your view i mean i wasn't na i wasn't being nasty or anything i would just criticize something that happened here in the uk and i'm, I'm hoping you can understand what i'm talking about Normally, when you do this sort of video and you talk about politics and stuff, you, the entire video get banned. So you upload it and then YouTube you, you will block it because its content might not be appropriate for um, your audience. But I'm not said anything wrong. I was just expressing my disappointment about what happened in this country a couple of years ago with people that not was born in this country and you know the citizenship of these people are not British um, so these things that happen has a major impact of us they're not UK citizens so and because of that I have to do my application to get a dual citizenship so when me and Jamie are in Italy or we come here to visit mum and dad it's going to be easier for me because I don't have to pay for a visa, I can stay in this country as long as I want, as well as Jamie can stay in Italy as long as he wants. Because at the minute, you can only stay in, I, I can stay here, of course, but then when I go abroad, I can only stay there for three months and then come back. Same for Jamie. So, and also you need to pay visa and all that. So it's not as straightforward as it looks. Anyway, so I don't really know what happened yeah, so look guys, it's it's very very strange because that is the video and it's 14, 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Big page, I thought he needed. So, not entirely sure what happened there. I wanted to show you the final pockets which I glued them on my journal. So that's what the pockets look like and I'm very sorry guys, uh, I did not realise I only realised after I watched the video that the video was cut, the mystery of internet. So I'm hoping this video won't be... <laughs> I won't say anything else anymore. Jeez, we got free of speech in this country. But anyway, that's fine. I don't think it's that. I think it might be something else. But that's what makes me think. But anyway, doesn't matter. So that's what the two pockets look like. And then, so I glue them on the paper. And then you've got a pocket there and a pocket there and a pocket there and a pocket there and also a pocket here. So, yeah. Never mind. So, today I want to play with a wonderful kit from Tracy Fox Creative. Um, as you know, I am part of Tracy's design team. Super, super happy to be, to be part of it because Tracy is a wonderful individual. She's got a super bubbly, sweet personality. She's got a contagious laugh. 
when Tracy's laugh, I my a big smile comes to my face. She's a wonderful human being, and I'm happy to support her business. Um, so I'm super proud to be part of the of her design team. So this kit is called Mega Mix Mix and Match. is a is one of the biggest kit I have ever seen. Um, of course, I've got the PDF saved on my computer, so I can print it as long as you want. So for um, I just want to show you a few pages because this kit is absolutely huge. Um, the reason why it's called Mega Mix and Match because you can use anything that you see on this paper with all the sort of elements. So you can use that with that, them with that. So it's mix and match. So you've got these blue pages with these lovely ladies. And then you've got this one, which has got some label, um, ticket, some ephemera, but again, you can use them with them. So it's all it's all designed to be match together. So but what I want to do, I want to do some specimen cards um, using, I got this butterfly from my um, scrap. So going to use them. I think they look quite nice in there. And I'm just hoping, well, even if it's just... Yeah, even if, the, if they're going to be covered a tiny bit, it doesn't really matter. So, but ne nevertheless, so that's fine. So, right. So what I was talking to you about there is that I haven't finished. So, right, let me start again. The application for my dual citizenship, and I don't want to talk about this anymore because I think <laughs> it's not bringing me any luck. <laughs> um, it's done. So I sent all the paperwork and all of that. Now, next the Monday the 14th, so it, I think when you see this video a week from the day that you see this video, I need to go to this office in Sheffield where I need to present all these documents that I have to submit um, and these people need to check these documents so make sure they're all correct and you know they're all legit. Um, and these documents are my B2 in English, so I had to do a test that shows my uh, communication skills what's fairly easy i must admit um so it's a b2 in english english language so i passed that then is a test that i've done a couple of weeks ago it's called the life in uk test which is very different difficult um there's a lot of things that I'm saying about this test and it's totally relevant to when i was talking to jamie about it you know, we, I would just show him the, uh, the question because you can do like practice questions. Um, and then his question like, how was the population in England in 1851? Or what percentage of people's got grandparents abroad? So lots of questions like that as well, like his, things from history, so British history. Uh, British uh, sports personalities, um, science. So all it's basically you need to show that you know a lot about the British culture and history, and you get a book like this big <laughs> to study to you know to prove that you um, you got the knowledge of the British history and where you're living and all that jazz. So I have I passed that. Um, and don't forget, guys, every single test of this, you've got to pay quite a lot of money. Then, so the, I got to pay £125, which I paid already, to go next week to talk with somebody for half an hour to show these documents. And also, they're going to get my fingerprints to, to put on the database and all that. So, that's fine. Um, and then, so that was that. And then, the Life of UK test... Um, the B2 um, and then of course my wedding certificate that shows that I'm married to Jamie um, and also I'm going to cut this but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it but I'll chop it I'll, um, I'll cut it um, so all of that and then so yeah well, you need to scan everything and then you need to send to the home office uh, it's all digital now so which is great uh, because it's so much easier you just scan everything and then you just go and you know and just send it to them <coughs> excuse me so yeah so after monday i think i should be fine because then 
I just need to wait and then it can take up to six months for them to verify the application. Once then they say yes, you fine, you can now be, you can now have the dual citizenship, then I can apply to get the, um, the British passport, which probably take about a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, it's not easy, but it's one of those things that needs to get done. Um, yeah, so I got here some acetate. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece. So I probably want something that's like that. As you can, as you know, guys, I don't measure anything, and sometimes that goes against me because <laughs> I should be, I should be more precise. But I can't be bothered. Perfect. Oh, oh God. Could have been a bit more generous, but yeah, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, double side tape, where are you? Here you are. So, um, so yeah, that's literally what what's new, what's, what I've been working on for the last six months. <laughs> so yeah, massive, massive weight has been lifted. Um, and now bless Jamie, he's, we're doing some Italian lessons because he needs to pass the B2 in Italian. So he needs to have the certificate in order for him to, to apply to get the dual citizen, Italian citizenship. So it's hard because, I mean, I remember when I first started, I mean, we started English at school, which is nothing compared to the English that you actually speak when you come to this, you know, if you come to visit or if you come to stay to an English uh, speaking country. Um, no, it's, I've got a hand cream on my fingers, so... Um, so what I was going to say, so yeah, so it's good to do this. Oh yeah, so it's not, um, you know, if you think about it, it's twice as hard when you're, when you're a bit older, because I remember when I was at uni, I could, you know, it's things that you do when you're young, you're going out and, you know, you, you just don't sleep and then you go to uni and then you just study everything in one night and then you pass your exam and everybody's happy and then you know, and all that jazz now, because your brain is not used to that. Now, educate your brain to study another language when you're 30. I mean, Jamie's going to be 33 this year. Um, it's hard. I mean, my mum, bless her, she's over 60 and, you know, she follows my videos. So I have another YouTube channel where I teach English to um, Italian people. So... I do videos in English and Italian. So my mum watches that video, then I speak English and of course Italian. And, you know, help, to help my students to practice. So, yeah, I mean, it's hard for my mum sometimes to, you know, pick up another language when, you, when you're over 60. So imagine, you know, and it's, you know, justifiable. So when you... When you're 30, when you're still young, but your brain is not um, is not trained to um, to pick another language, it's not as easy as it sounds. That's cute. I like that. Very like, very much, very much. I just need to chop these bits off. And then we're gonna put some gold, but I'll do that in the end because if I do put the gold now, I I know that I'm gonna get gold everywhere. So what am I gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do the other off other one off camera, and then we decorate it together. Okay, so I've got my ephemera here, bits and bobs, and I'm going to use some of this foam pad because I want the decoration to kind of like stand up. Now, the, the nightmare about this, which I won't buy anymore, is that it's very, very sticky. So you see this, if I don't really want to do it because it's going to stay like that. So actually, yeah, you see, it's so, so sticky. 
so oh, is an eye meant to peel it off um yeah god which it does its job don't get me wrong and that's it's been designed to be very sticky but um wow no way too much sticky no 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 we don't want to be too sticky so no so i'm trying to use it and to get rid of it because i don't want to be in it because it's a waste of money i will use it but um yeah wow no definitely won't buy it again yeah so i think that's gonna be too big oh no it's, oh perfect look at that now i think that's gonna be too big so we're probably gonna do two little tabs one in there and one in here so. So I thought we'd do this one like that on top and then on the corner either that or fragile no let's go with fragile handle we care because there is a bit of black in there so I think it will look quite nice or should we go on the left no let's go on the right there and then we do the hmm to do like that yeah maybe we do yeah the tickets on the corner on the right corner there oops and then this on top too sticky that I can't even peel the backing paper off okay so that goes there yeah so that's one and that's two super cute little ephemera don't take two minutes to make them and you can make this in bulk because uh, you can print the same page a lot of time and that's what I look I love about printable <clears throat> excuse me that you can just print the page that you want and then just have fun and play and have that multiple times and do what you want now on the page, I have created two belly bands using this collage here. So I just chop one rectangle there and one rectangle here, and I use it as a belly band. And then we're going to put our cards. No, stay there, yeah, there. Now, ideally, I would have liked them to be like that, but then it's too, let me zoom out so you can see the entire page. So it's too, what's the, what's the word I'm missing? Like clean to like that, because it fits perfectly. Look, it looks like it's been designed to go there. It's just too clean. So instead we're going to turn it upside down and we can have them. In fact, so you can even put it in the pocket like that. And because we create that little bulk, it will stay in the belly band. It won't, it won't go anywhere. And the same in here. You can either put that on top of the belly band so you know that it won't go anywhere and that's my other page completed you see won't go anywhere right guys that's it for today i hope you like this little cute little video if you did please give me a big big thumbs up because that will support the video and the channel doing well also guys don't forget to go to tracy fox create website and i will put the link of her shop so if you wish to purchase this kit or any other kit show some tracy some love and support also link her youtube channel down below so again if you don't know tracy please go there and you know send i'll send you there thank you so much for watching guys and until next time stay safe and well mm -hmm.